And today we're going to be unboxing the Hornbill Smart Door Lock Set. And on top of that, we're also going to install it and test it out. So let's go ahead. We're going to point the camera down, see what all comes in this kit. And then we're going to go install it on the front door and give it a go. Let's get to it. All right, so this is how it comes right here. We're going to go ahead and open this box up. First thing you have is your user manual with your installation instructions. Down here is the actual deadbolt, the smart side of it. Go ahead and take a look at it. You have the indoor piece and the outdoor. Very nice brushed nickel look. Even has rubber seals for sealing up against the door to keep the water out. You have your strike plates. You have your actual tumbler or locking mechanism. This is a Bluetooth gateway for the whole setup. Here is your mechanism for the actual door latch. The other one was for the deadbolt. Here's your striker plates. And this one is the lever style handle. And you can see it's all a nice brushed nickel as well. But you can also get a standard doorknob. Just make sure you choose the right one when you go to checkout. All right, so that's pretty much everything that's going to come in the kit. What we need to do is we need to go to the front door, pull the old hardware off, and then get this installed so we can do some testing. So let's go install it. All right, so I just installed the doorknob. As you can see, it looks very, very nice with the brushed nickel look. Now this is your battery compartment right here. So if those batteries go dead, you can change them. And you might be wondering, well, what if I'm on the outside when the batteries go dead? Well, we're going to show you. And when you go to lock and unlock the door, it's just a simple twist like a standard deadbolt. Or at least that's how you do it from the inside. But I must say it is a very modern and nice looking deadbolt. Now let's go outside and see how you get in. And I'll show you a couple features out there. And check it out. This is what it looks like from the outside. You can see you have your keypad. You have your button for locking the door. Hit that. Lock. And the door is locked. Now you have more than one method. You actually have three methods to get in. You can either use a key, which you would just like a regular lock. You can put the key in and unlock the door. Or you can use your passcode, which I want to enter mine real quick. Zero, zero, two. Unlock. Just like that. And like I said, when you're ready to lock it again, lock. just like so. So very cool. Now the other way is you can set up the thumbprint scanner. And I'm gonna, zero, zero, one. just like unlock. so. And I know I said that there were three different ways that you could un unlock this door, but there's actually a fourth and it's with this little card. You get two of these cards and you just hold it up. Zero, zero, four, unlock. Just like that. So you have the keys, you have the card, you have a passcode, and you have a thumbprint. Now you may be wondering, what do you do if you get locked out, you don't have the key, and the battery's dead? Well, if you look up underneath here, if you look up under here, you have a little USB-C port. And what that does is you can plug in a power bank to repower the system up, and then you can just punch in your code or use your thumb to get in. So. A very nice modern looking lock. It works very well. It was easy to install, just like a standard deadbolt. Nothing too complicated. Just one wire to plug in and that was it. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.